G'day everyone, I'm X-Ray Racer 1, welcome to part 13 of the X-Ray XB4 buggy build series. Now, uh, before I carry on, <laughs> I uh, kind of made uh, stuff up with part 12, I accidentally said it was part 11, so if there's any mass confusion, the part where I said it was part 11 was actually part 12, and part so where it is part 12 so part I six yeah I accidentally said part 11 twice for two videos so um, this is part 13 and in this uh, video we are going to be going over some bit uh, painting tips um, now these painting tips aren't just for the uh, x-ray xb4 buggy they, they also apply to any uh, any buggy or car or truck that you got any body that you paint uh, any polycarbonate body I should uh, mention um, one of the things a lot of people ask me is how, how do you do your designs well um, for those who have seen my uh, team associated SC10 build series they saw um, on in the reveal video on the the paint job that I did I actually used liquid mask for that but in this case I'm using actual masking tape and when you're going to be doing a design first thing first most important thing is to wash the inside of the body first and then once you've done that then you can go ahead with doing your design now when it comes to washing the body I strongly recommend that you use um, warm soapy water now ordinary dishwashing liquid will be uh, sufficient um, you possibly can use general purpose cleaner or uh, grease and wax remover I'm not too sure but I've always used um, dishwashing liquid and warm soapy water and when you've done that make sure you dry it thoroughly as well um, you can uh, use the hairdryer once you've done it like wipe it out with a uh, soft cloth and then use a towel or a towel or and then use a hairdryer so make sure you uh, do that now obviously the next important thing is masking now before you do your design or before I do my design I put the window masks on first because they're always the last thing to uh, be removed so I always put the window masks on and sometimes it helps uh, to heat the surface just a little bit not a lot just a little bit just to help the uh, um, help the window masks and even the masking tape here to stick and also when when you when you're doing it um, don't be frightened just to push down with a bit of effort just to get all the air bubbles out you don't want any air bubbles um, you can get like a small pin and prick the air bubble if it's too much if there's like a big air bubble in there then you can smooth it all out um, then when it comes to doing your design as you can see here what I've done is I've got I like to use a permanent marker because it, it uh, like I mean over the top of your body you have a um, protective film and I find that the permanent marker works best when it comes to drawing out your design and as you can see, it's just, at the moment it just looks like a mess of uh, masking tape going everywhere. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing the base colour first, and then I'll be uh, removing uh, the masking tape. So when you do, in this case as you see I've done lines, the lines don't have to be marked out perfectly, it's just there as an outline on what you want to do now there's going to be multi colors on this so and also as you can see on the top don't worry about that masking tape that was uh, the 
permanent marker that's just something I was trying to figure out but I decided not to do that I just decided to do some stripes um, as you can see I've got dots here so that's two so and you got two three four and you can't really see it there but that's number one so that's the order that the masking tape has to be pulled off so remember when you're doing uh, if you're doing like a complicated design like this remember to number and it's the same for the other side as well um, remember to number the order of the masking tape that you're going to uh, remove so because there's no because for instance like for argument's sake I go to remove number four I pull that and everything could come off and the whole paint job would be wrecked so mark in this case I've just used dots for, for uh, for as a guide just to, so I know which uh, mask to pull off first and like obviously once I've painted the uh, base coat the masking tape is just going to uh, show the numbers so don't worry about um, not being able to see so one of the other things a lot of, some people do um, they like to cut out their body first then paint it um, I don't like to do that personally and you know, I'll just uh, zoom out a little because what I like to do is I like to be able to hold like for instance hold the body and spray paint it like so that way I'm not getting paint all over my hands uh, you can use gloves it probably wouldn't hurt to use gloves also when you paint if you've never I mean a lot of us RC guys know this, it's a common rule and, and it is a bit of common sense but if you are spray painting do it in a well ventilated area and also with polycarbonate because as you know the body flexes so um, what I find works well when it comes to painting is uh, you do like a light mist first so just doesn't have to be perfect just a light mist and let it dry and you can use a hair dryer just to help speed up the process and I find instead of say doing two or or three coats I like to do maybe five coats and they're light coats get and just get a little heavier each time when you do each coat but don't be in a rush to do it because um, some paints are un unlike if you're like painting the outside surface you can create a run if you get a run in here it doesn't really matter but um, some paints uh, do show the runs in them so be very careful so I like to use uh, lots of uh, thin coats and just get a little heavier each time so yeah folks that's pretty much all my little painting tips um, as I said you know make sure you well, take your time when doing it. Um, you know, unfortunately with me, doesn't matter how hard I try. There's always one thing that stuffs up in a body that I do. I mean, it, it, and I mean, it's not like I'm rushing. It's almost it's like there's something that's meant to go wrong with every body that I do. I don't know what it is, but take your time when doing it. And when it comes to uh, sticker putting like your sticks or decals on the body um, obviously once you've cut it out and pulled the protective film off um, sometimes it helps to get a little bit of uh, like methylated spirits or or um, even some uh, soapy water and just clean the outside so there's no dirt and grease on the body and that way you can put your decals on without it um, them lifting off and sometimes too I find uh, with a hairdryer, we, uh, get the put your, apply your decal on, and just heat it, heat it just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, so as it helps the uh, adhesive on there to uh, dry a little bit better and get a bit more stickier. So yeah, folks, um, I'm not going to show you the paintwork that I've done. That's going to be for the reveal video. Now, part 14. Uh, hopefully they'll tires will be here in time I'm kind of holding off um, 
everything because <laughs> the tires are taking a little bit of time to get here so the next video will be well hopefully by the time this video is uploaded I'll have the tires and I'll show you how to mount tires to the wheels so stay tuned for part 14